can hide. Yo, y'all, it's Puente Friday. Are you ready? Or are you what? Ready or not, baby, here we go. It's Puente Friday. That's right. I'm here. And I'm ready. It's Puente Friday. Ready or not, baby, here we come. So get uh, your cigars out. Just sit back for the next hour, and we are going to have some fun. I got special guests. I got all kinds of people joining me today, hopefully. So you better be ready, baby. Is this going to be on? I got a deal. I got a deal. I got a deal for y'all today. All right. I love me some Fuji's. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. It is JJ Cigar JJ from Lord Puffer Cigars down here in beautiful, beautiful Southern California. How's everybody doing? Let's see here. Bill Fody is in the house. Bill, good morning. Happy Fuente Friday. I am excited about today. Um, yeah, Bill, I'm glad you're on. We've got people watching. This is pretty fantastic. The hack is in the house. The hack is here. Happy FF. I like that. I like that. Fuente Friday, Fuente Friday. Oh, yes, it's Fuente Friday, baby. I mean, can you get any more excited when like you just start hearing that right or not it's one day friday music it's just such a good it's such a good jam all right um let's keep checking in with everybody who's on today let's see Michael, what's up, my man? How you doing, buddy? Glad to see you today. Frente Friday is in the house, and we are ready to rock and roll. Let's see what we got here. Mr. James Lindsay, sweet shirt. Hey, the cool thing I like about this shirt, too, is this. Check this out. Right? That is a sweet-ass shirt. I am liking it. It is very good. Yes. Hey, James, if you want me to send you out one, I still have some left over. Uh, just uh, send me a text or shoot me something via some way, shape, or form. Checking it out. Oh, my gosh. Look at this guy right here. Tony Shirjali and Smoking a Fuente Coffee and myself. This is my good buddy, Tony, who runs a great cigar lounge in Glendale, California, called Puro Umo. Uh, he got me uh, my first cigar job working in a cigar lounge. A wonderful little place called Sinisa Cigar Lounge. 
Tony, if you want to join me on the uh, on the show today, just let me know and I will send you a link, my man. Let me show you what Brandon is saying. Brandon Fuente Friday has arrived. You are correct, sir. And what are you smoking? Because here's what I'm smoking today, baby. Bam. Power Ranger in the house. Power Ranger in the house. Power Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger all day today because you know why? Do you know why? Look at this. Oh, well, Facebook user. Someone has it. They're called Facebook user. Their name is actually Facebook user. Interesting. Um, Magna 44 all. Freaking great smoke. I love that small size. It's pretty fantastic. Let's go back to Tony. Tony is um, uh, watching today. Smoking a Fuente. Tony, what are you smoking, brother? Just put it in the comments. Uh, all right. Um, let's get to the pack. Let us get to the pack. What is going on today for our cigars? Um, let's just see here. We're going to start getting this thing rolling along here. It is Fuente Friday, everybody. Um, if you haven't had a chance to go to lordpuffercigars.com, go to lordpuffercigars.com, check it out. Uh, we've got lots of stuff on there. Small brick and mortar store, but we do ship all over the place. So let us know. If you want to send me a text or shoot me a call, you want to call, shoot me a text. Right there's a number, 858-800-2004. All right. Um, let's get to it. Deal for today. Look at this deal for the day, y'all. All right. Let me get rid of this thing here. Call or text, yes, I know. Go to Lord Puffer Cigars. You can do that as well. We're going to get rid of all that. Let's show you the deal for today. It's real simple. This deal is called the Sun Grown Power Ranger. There it is. Bam. Right? A classic and a signature Sun Grown Hemingway. You got yourself a Chateau Fuente Sun Grown. You got yourself a Magnum R Rosado 58. And... The Opus X Power Ranger. That's right, Power Ranger this morning, baby. It's a Power Ranger this morning. So uh, let me just uh, put up for you then how much that thing costs. Let's see what it is. Bam, it's only $59.99. Yep, you're getting five cigars for $59.99. And one of them's an Opus freaking X, y'all. Can you believe that? I mean, can you actually believe that? I can't. All right, that's the deal for today. Y'all uh, go check out lordpuffercigars.com, right? Click on Fuente Friday deals, and then there's the deal for you today. That's my special deal. Um, I have a, a very special guest who I'm going to be bringing on today. Uh, he's, I mean, is there anything closer to me than like another me? Like, not me, but like another Williams, right? So if you didn't know, today you're going to get a chance to meet my brother, Michael, who is uh, living right outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He is a teacher, uh, father of two, husband, and uh, likes to grow lots of vegetables and smoke cigars. And we do something pretty cool together that we want to tell you about. So I'm going to bring on right now my bro, Michael Williams, Michael Welcome. What's up, peeps? What's How are you? Happening? How are you doing? I'm tired. I am tired. Why? Ted, Why are you so Teddy, tired? Teddy. Teddy woke up at 2.30 this morning. And uh, we went downstairs. We watched uh, Saved by the Bell. Mm. till uh, about 5 o'clock when he finally fell asleep. That's, um... No, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And then I got up at 8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's 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 true that uh, both of your sons are not really good sleepers. No, 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 and that's why I'm uh, I'm looking. I look like this right here. Um, little, not so much here or not, here. It, it's not it's not really here or here really. It's right here. It's right around here. Actually. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I really so like the yeah. pink background. I like the pink background. It looks it's the nice. dining room. I was going to be outside, but. Um, my father-in-law and I are doing the, we're doing some work on the deck mm. and uh, I had a nice little setup on my, you know, my outdoor furniture, looking down over the garden yeah. with the, with the vegetables and the hot peppers. Um, but he's out there working. So couldn't make it happen. I so got in the dining room and the dining right. room. Um, when we bought the house, the woman that, that painted this room wanted it to look like an English tea room. 
So the walls are like Pepto and the um, Pepto. The, the molding and the ceiling um, is white and the floor is like maroon. Mm. So, well, that, a, nothing oh, screams more uh, English tea room than Pepto Bismol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just haven't had a chance to change it. But um, I mean, I think I think it's fair to say that she missed pretty pretty wildly on the on the English tea room. Um, wow. Yeah. So I mean, even the even the uh, the electrical outlets are they're not even white. They're they're Pepto as well. So wow. I'm sitting around um, in this English tea room um, around a lot of wood furniture, lots of rich mahogany. Oh, rich mahogany! Yeah. You know what? Uh, one of our one of our guests here did put this on here. Did uh, did uh, he, he's doing a little you know big man and a little coat. <laughs> um, I do that Giorgiani, in Tony Giorgiani is saying, "Is that Michael or Pops?" Oh, oh, Tony D coming in strong. I mean, Tony, I'm I'm currently taking. A, uh, a a class uh, a workshop with uh, David Shear and Joe Davis, uh, and it's kind of like a cultural sensitivity training. So I'm I myself am going to uh, let you have that. Um, if yeah, that's you gotta let Tony have, you have one. You know, you know William. So William oh, I like it. I yeah. like it. I like yeah, it. That's true. What's up, Todd? Tony's smoking a Don Carlos Grand Anniversario 2015. Wow. I even had wow. um, I had my cigar picked out. I was gonna I was gonna rock the uh, Hemingway Reserva. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Well, well, we've got the we've got the uh, good old Hemingway Sun Groans in the pack today. It's a five pack for freaking fifty nine ninety nine, and it comes I, with the Magnum R Rosado and the Fuente Sun Grown, and I'm throwing in the Mini Power Ranger. I thought about because uh, I've checked on on your show multiple times for your deals. I thought about getting them because they're such a good price that we could buy them at that price, and then we could auction them off at you know C four G. Um, for more and than that, that. Leads us, that leads us right to where I want to talk about today. Um, transition. Nice transition there. <laughs> um, everybody, I want you to check this out. All right. So cigars for good. Why don't you, why don't, Michael, why don't you give um, a little background on what, uh, what happened when we first created this little thing to play some golf and smoke cigars? Um, well, JJ and I sat uh, in the back lounge at the tobacco company in Lemoyne, shout out to Greg. And um, you had uh, you were in the process of of trying to raise funds for Lantern Hill, and you said, you know what I'd like to do is I'd like to have an auction. And we I think at that point we had just gotten back from Big Smoke, and um, we met a lot of cigar guys, and and I was emailing them because this the thing I love about cigars, in addition to the community that you build, is the people in the industry are so generous and giving. They really are. Yeah. Um, and so we started reaching out to them and saying, hey, we're going to do this auction and we want to we want to uh, fund projects for Lantern Hill. And we had such an overwhelming response. We had that auction. And then we sat down after and we said, you know, we could like we could do this. We could do this for Lantern Hill. We could do this for other groups um, because uh, we have the ability. We have the means to do that. And and I think we we both felt very called to um, to be to be agents of change in the lives of young people. Um, yeah, I and, mean, uh, I mean, there's so many in the cigar industry that do these kind of things uh, for you know people that work and harvest tobacco in their countries, roll whatever. And I mean, it's Fuente Friday, and who better than the Fuentes as an excellent example? I mean, in a lot of ways, you know what. What we do at, with our charity in in Baja California, you know, is is modeled a lot after what uh, the Fuente family does in terms of creating a school environment, helping students break the chains of poverty through education and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, you know, it's perfect to have you on talking on a Fuente Friday and talking about, you know, cigars for good. So we've been doing this now for it's it's going on the 11th year. Is this true? This, is 12. this will be 12, the 12th year. 12th yeah, man. Year. Yeah, man. And, how, much, and how much money? See, over eighty thousand dollars. Holy crap! Over so eighty thousand dollars. Watching, see, it started out with uh, pretty much I was really involved in helping with doing everything, and now I've become kind of just the color commentator. And uh, my brother and our good dear friend, uh, rest in peace, Chad Shiflet, and a bunch of other guys, um, they run it from Pennsylvania, and I, I can't take any real 
credit for it other than being a part of it. Um, other these than it, amazing if work. If we hadn't sat down, we wouldn't have that. Like if you wouldn't have said, hey, let's use our connections that we have in cigars and let's raise some money, we there wouldn't be a C4G. Well, so I appreciate well, that. Well, not, you guys well, do all the work. I mean, we have a freaking golf tournament that's – I mean, isn't the golf tournament in, in September almost sold out? Yeah, there are five spots – four spots. Four spots left. So one – so we've got one foursome left, one group. No, four groups, 16 oh, four people. Groups. 16 yeah. people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's like uh, selling out the golf course is what, 120 people or? 144. 144 people. That's 144 is a being on every single hole. So, and we've filled it the last, if we fill it this year, it'll be the last three years. So wow. we've done it the previous two years. Well, listen, how can, um, how can people who are watching this uh, either get involved or, I mean, what, what what could people do for for our organization to help us out a little bit um, and uh, make our event this week or this this year uh, spectacular? Uh, well, you can do a couple different things. You know, those of you who are local uh, and want to drive to Harrisburg, I have some students of mine from Baltimore that drive up, have driven up, I think, the last like four years and we play golf. Um, so you can golf in the golf scramble. Uh, you can register online right there. Yes, cigarsforgood.com. Right um, you can register there. You can find all the information there. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook where we're putting updates. Um, so you can golf, you can donate. Um, you can donate money. Uh, even if you don't, here's the thing that we do at Cigars for Good. We don't keep the money. So. Um, you know, there are some people that, you know, might, and obviously they're not on the show, but there are people that don't, aren't fans of cigars. Um, and so we always say the same thing, like, fine, then make a donation to any of the groups. Sure. You know, that, that we're serving, because one of the things that we strive to do is not just to raise funds, but to raise awareness of these groups, because it's cool that we can, we can get people together one time or two times a year and donate money. But what we really want is for these organizations to have a constant stream of people that are involved and invested in what they're doing. So you can go to our website, you can check out the organizations that we've worked with, the organizations that we're working with this year, which would be Lantern Hill, the Lutheran Camping Corporation, um, the Police Athletic League of Harrisburg, dealing with their sports programs. Um, and and the new all, one that we're working with. Kids. It's all towards kids. It's all towards kids. It goes to the feeding and it's educating kids. kids around the world. Um, and uh, then we have another one called Healing Hands of Guatemala which was started by Christian Roberts, which you know, JJ. Yes, um, absolutely. For down in, Christian's in been on the show. Christian's yeah. been like, he's all good. Christian, yeah. is, like, oh. he, he watches the show, and he's a huge fan of the Fuente, so it's awesome. So so you can help C4G by participating in our events, by uh, helping to support and serve the organizations that we're partnering with, um, and, and and just in general, looking to raise awareness, and and I would think even to a greater extent to a to a larger uh, audience to just look for ways to serve, especially um, in in this current in this current environment where so many people are in need because they're not able to work, um, yeah. businesses are shutting down. That these organizations that we're serving are in are in dire need because the 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 donations aren't coming in as much as they had had been. Yes, the Bakersfield gentlemen, it is indeed a great organization. Well, and it's also a heck of a lot of fun, right? I mean, yeah. we well, do have yeah. we have such a blast. Um, I mean, let's just just if you can off the top of your head, let's just go down the list of all the people who have uh, in the cigar world who have supported cigars for good. Like just just run. Yeah. We've had um, we've had the Fuentes. Yes, we've had uh, Lido Gomez. We've had um, Alec Bradley. We've had, um, um, oh, wow. We've had uh, the Jose National Bronco. Company, uh, rest in peace. Um, we've had, shoot, we've had uh, Villager um, yeah. with, with your girl. And, uh, um, shoot, oh, what's the, my gosh, what's uh, the, the, the guy uh, who always sends us the cool Lancero or uh, – uh, La Frontera. Falto Cigars. We've Falto. had Falto Cigars. Falto is you know, Luis Falto is a great guy. I've never met him in person. I met him over Facebook and we've emailed him 
And well, you met him through me. Prohibited donation. I met him, so he, it was like a via. He was via. he was sending us like two hundred cigars. Yeah, to, to a group like you know, to me that he's never met. Um, and sports memorabilia too. We get all that sports memorabilia from Steve. I we, mean, get, we get Bleacher Bum. Bleacher Bums donates a lot of sports memorabilia. Um, um, Authentic Apparel does a lot of. Uh, that's a local one down here. Um, and this year's, a, this year's a special year. I mean, this is, I mean, every year is special, but this one's a little bit different. Um, you know, as I stated, when we first started, one of our, one of our founding members and one of, you know, you and I's best friends uh, unexpectedly passed away in January. And so we get to play uh, some golf and have some fun and smoke some cigars and put some smoke in the air for our, our, our good buddy, Chad. Um, is there anything special going on for that in terms of, um, uh, well, at, at the golf scramble, we're going to be kind of remembering him by offering everybody the opportunity to tee off on the first hole barefooted. <laughs> so, That's right, because he always plays with his without his shoes on. Yeah. So if so, if you want to do that, you could do that. Um, on August fourth, our second uh, annual event is a cigar auction, and that takes place out at Grandview Vineyard out in Mount, Mount Joy, which is just just away from Lancaster, and those people up there. Um, Scott and, and Sarah have been amazing. Um, if you're in the, uh, in the area, Grandview, Vine Grandview Vineyards is, is, um, a true, uh, a true partner in what we do. We met yeah. them, we met them probably six or seven years ago, just becoming wine club members. And they heard us talking about cigars and approached us and said, Hey, we have a, a bluegrass festival and we usually have cigars there, but our vendor never contacted us. Do you think you guys could do it? And we had never done like a, a satellite event. Sure. So we figured out how that worked. And we, we've done that for the past, I want to say five or six years. Um, it was canceled this year because of COVID. But um, in addition to that, then they came to us and said, Hey, we, we really believe in what you guys are doing and we really want to help. We would like to open our deck, which is a non-smoking deck. We'd like to open our deck to you guys once a month on a Saturday from uh, May through October. And we'll have a big our deck. A cigars that well they they have a big deck they is it a big a deck is it, it's deck? a deck made of wood but they do have a good wood deck um and so they they open the deck to us from may through october one saturday a month and they have cigar saturday nights where we set up a tent we give away cigars for donation they bring in food trucks they bring in live music they charge uh this year i think it's five dollars at the door uh and right. what they do then is they hold all that money they pay out the food trucks they pay out the bands and then at the end of the season, whatever money is left over from that, they donate to us, which in past years has been anywhere from four to eight hundred dollars. Wow. And, and they do that strictly. It's nothing that we ever said, hey, we'd really like to do it. They came to us and they did that. Um, and so we're holding our cigar auction there uh, on Sunday, October 4th from one o'clock to six o'clock. The morning of that fourth, uh, we're going to do a cornhole tournament for Chad. Oh, cornhole mm -hmm. tournament. You JJ does love a big wood deck. Let's let's yes. all be honest about that. Let's, let's let's be real. The bigger who the better. Who doesn't? Um, I got a question for you. Um, what do you uh, what do you think about this? This pack. I, right it's amazing. I mean, is that fire? It's that a, is I mean, straight fire. Like, like if you just cover up the four, if you if you leave the Power Ranger alone for sixty bucks, that's a deal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's craziness, man. This is such a good. Okay, so uh, we've been doing this this fun thing with when I show a five pack, we talk about we've been talking about people setting up their lineup. Now, for those of you who don't follow like the baseball idea, the lineup is you know what order you're going to put. In this case, it'd be your cigars. What lineup order are you going to put your cigars into smoke? So you're given these five, and let's say it's like the big smoke weekend because you know you're going to smoke at least five in the day, right? Or maybe working in the backyard, you're going to smoke five. I don't know. How would you line these up? And then I also want to hear how you guys watching would line these up as your lineup when you purchase the pack. Go, Michael. Line up. All right. I would rock the Chateau last. I would rock oh. the Magnum fourth. Um, I would. So we're at five, four. Um, there we go. Put it in my face. Four, four. Um so we have the uh, we have the Hemingway, the Opus left. 
Um, and then what's the fifth one? So I have the uh, the yeah, Chateau, Hemingways. I have the Rosado. I would do the Opus first, the Hemingway second. Um, and what's the third one? Chateau, Hemingway. Well, there's two Hemingways there. There's a, there's oh, the there's classic signature. Okay, I would go with the, uh, I would do back-to-back -back Hemingways. So I okay, would so go. You're going to start strong because this is what well, I'm starting to see. Well, here, well, no, here are my thoughts. I would normally warm up to it, but when you have something as uh, savory and and quality as that as that Power Ranger, I don't want to get that at the end of the day. Okay. I, I want to get I want to get everything I can on that in the beginning, um, because I know that as I go go throughout the day, my, you know my taste buds are going to be tired. Um, it seems as if uh, Miguel and Frankie are thinking the same as you. Power Ranger first. Right. Yeah. Wow. Um, I would get my, I would get my first ones. Uh, I would get my favorites done first, which would be that Opus and then the Hemingways. Definitely. Huh. Definitely. See, I, I got to save Opus for the end. I, I mean, and I know you would. And normally. I want to end with Opus. It, here's what I would do. If I were going to, if I were going to smoke, if I'm out working in the yard or like I'm golfing, I'm going boom, 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 boom. Right. Like I'm going to, I'm going to smoke one, light one, smoke one, light one, smoke one, light one. I want to make sure that I can get all of the flavor of that opus. Okay. I don't want it to be yeah. dulled down by the time I get to the end. And because this has nothing to do with the fact that uh, your very first Big Smoke, you ended the evening yeah. with a Taurus Bull Opus <laughs> X, and, and it, it, Thank you, Carlito. Know, it affected you a little bit. Thank you, Carlito, so much for that. Um, <laughs> that was my first opus, and I remember it was my first Big Smoke, too. And I remember thinking, oh, we're going to have food. This is going to be awesome. And they had like those little, like they were like little plates. And we were sitting there <laughs> and eating and smoking. And I remember getting up and just being like, ooh, <laughs> AJ, whoa. Yeah, that, and that ended, I think that was the, I think I waited like an hour or two before I had anything after that. Oh um, my and God. Thing, we, we went to Casa after that. Yeah, and I think that might have been the only other time. Like I, I didn't smoke one the rest of the time until we got to Costa <laughs> after a few mojitos, uh, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Yes, yes. All right, so, uh, okay, so Bill is going with the Power Ranger last. Uh, let's see what Tony has to say. Tony's saying Hemingway Magnum Chateau Hemingway Opus. So it's 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 coming out a little bit fifty fifty with where you put your. I don't know. You want to call your prime or your the one you want to smoke? I, I I don't know. You can't go wrong with this, though. So it's kind of it's kind of just a toss up about where you start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start Chateau right away. Chateau is my start. Then I then I mix it up. Uh, I follow it with the smaller Hemingway. Then I go Magnum fifty eight. Then back to a Hemingway, and I cap off the evening right there with uh, with Opus. That, that's how I go. Now, Ooh, I mean, here, see, no, we're getting another one here. We got another one. Courtney is like, nah, no polluted palette for the Power Rangers, so he's going right away. Exactly. If I were going to take a break of a couple hours, like if I'm doing yard work and at the end of my day, I'm going to eat my dinner, I'm going to hang out for a couple hours, and then once the kids go to bed, I'm going to sit on the back porch with some uh maybe some zacapa you know Ooh. then and sure definitely i would Very say nice. that for the end but i agree i don't i don't want to you know i don't want to throw it down i think it's um starting to tilt it's starting to tilt people are going more power ranger in the first 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 one yeah um i, mean, I, I, I always try and smoke my favorite ones uh in the beginning if especially if i know i'm gonna i'm just gonna you know light smoke light smoke light smoke light smoke um, especially if I'm golfing, because at least I know that I'm going to have a good start to the round, no matter how badly I'm playing. Which, by yeah. the way, I shot an 86 at Heritage Hills. Wow. 86. On the, on the front or the back nine? <laughs> <laughs> it was a 43 and a 43, exactly. Wow. Is it a part yeah. three? <laughs> <laughs> I got jokes this morning. It's Friday. I was hitting bombs. Bombs? Wow. Bombs. Wow. I was in the fairway all day. I was in the wow. zone. I kept telling the guys that I was golfing with. I was golfing with like Steve and Nil and Chris and, and a new guy named John. I was like, John, I think you're going to have to golf with me forever. 
But I kept telling John, I was like, John, I don't, I don't golf like this. The wheels are going to come off any day now. And uh, they didn't. They, they, I got tired at 17. I got tired and finished out the round with two sixes. But other than that, man, I was in fuego. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So all those guys are going to lie and back up your story, right? Uh, they should. They should. They were there. That's good. They were there. And like I yeah, said, I was on the I'm like, I don't, I don't know. And I left my, I left my pitch, my nine, and my sand wedge, and my lob at Nawakwa. So it was like driver, and then I had to hit like an eight, like onto everything. Well, maybe so, you're onto something there. Maybe I don't you're know. onto something there. Um, all right. Uh, last but not least, let's get to the obligatory Fuente Friday thing. Uh, let's go with uh, how about your Mount Rushmore of uh, Fuente cigars. Uh, and you're allowed uh, an extra cherry on top if you want to. So four cigars and uh, a fifth one just to honor number five. Uh, and uh, you can do them in no particular order or order if you want to. And we're talking like doesn't matter anything you've ever had that you're going to place in that uh, – that top five. Petit Lancero. Uh, which one? Of uh, Opus? Yeah, the Opus. Opus Petit Lancero. Good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, it's hard. Well, the other thing is, you know, with two kids, I don't I don't have a lot of money to spend on, on cigars. So. Um, well, you did at one point. So. I did. I did. I, mean, I did. Are we throwing so, an Arnejo shark in there? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, I would throw in the Añejo Shark. I would throw in the uh, Triple Eight. Oh, the 888. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah, in yeah. the Añejo or in the Opus? The Añejo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, have, I don't know. know. I, I, I do have it now, but they had, we had it first at uh, at Casa. Mike oh, yeah. showed them to us out of Casa. So, Casa. Um, so what am I, I'm up to three? Yeah. Um, I'm going to throw in, I think, one of my favorites, and I always talk to people when we talk about cigars, and they're like, Oh, they're just too expensive. And I always say, you know, that Sun Grown 858 is a $7 cigar here in, here in Pennsylvania. Right? And it's there. It is. I've been telling people this every single freaking Fuente Friday show. The 858 Sun Grown is absolutely in my top two, two, top two cigars for Fuente. Right there it is. I even had Cynthia Fuente admit on this show in the comments when they smoke as a family around the table, they hand out 858 Sun Groans. That's like a mic drop right there, 858 Sun Groan. <laughs> on this show, it's a, it's a mic drop. Everyone knows. Come on, start commenting, y'all. I've turned them on to this stuff right here because it's the bomb. All right, so you got one more. One more. Um, Fuente. Just for Carlito, I'm going to go with the uh, Taurus the Bull. Oh gosh, it's such a big, strong smoke. Woo. It is. It is. I I have a few in my humidor um, that I save for very special occasions and very full stomachs, um, and and lots of rum. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's how I would that's how I'd roll out. Uh, if if uh, you know, I don't I don't drink a ton, uh, but I don't know that I can pair an opus with anything but rum i don't i don't i don't think it pairs well with whiskey or bourbon i think it's a rum cigar like it's got the innate sweetness that's just brought out by the especially as a capa or a zaya or a florida Cana. i mean that's just crazy oh here we go james is saying i'd end with an opus there we go my buddy james oh, yeah. a vip member here at lord puffer as well as a friend uh of las vegas smoking like that. All right, brother. Um, ending words on cigars for good and how people can uh, check us out. Uh, if you guys are, uh, I'll tell you one thing that Michael didn't mention was if you are a person who has connections to a specific cigar company or you know somebody who makes cigars or they've got something cool, one of the things that we do with our auction, as well as the cigars that we give out when people are, are golfing, um, we do that and people start to like cigars they've never had before. It's a, it's a great way to expand your brand or get some notice uh, amongst some smokers. I mean, you're talking about 144 people and the auction has at least 100 people. And, and it's a great way to put new cigars in people's hands. 
Um, so if you guys have night. just DM me, uh, call the store, uh, text the store, do whatever. If you have any connections, we'd love to get some donations of cigars and cigar memorabilia, uh, accessories, you name it. But how else can, uh, you know, for people who maybe just got on the show, how else can people get involved in what we're doing with Cigars for Good? You can go to the website and you can check out the events. You can attend an event, golf, auction, cornhole, wine night, Grandview. Um, you can just, you can go on the website and look at the organizations that we're partnering with and you can support them. Um, you can send your money to them. Uh, I mean, we're just a middleman, so we don't take any money. The money that we get goes to them anyway. Yeah. Um, so you can donate straight to them. Um, you can volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers to come out. And let's be honest, when we have a wine night, we really just hang out. We drink <laughs> wine and local beer. Uh, and this is all on the East Coast. So we have to let everybody know that the Williamses are bi-coastal. So we've got West Coast and East Coast. So we're talking right now about the East Coast side. Um, I'm excited when I get back there in September to, to meet with you guys to talk about how we can start pulling this off on the West Coast. That's that's where I'd like to you know talk about it. So the events Michael's talking about are all in, uh, in and around uh, the central Pennsylvania area. So, you know, if you're in and around any of that, my gosh, you could come from any of those states surrounding uh, and uh, be a part of uh, the the cool cigar events that we've got going on. We have we have a wonderful uh, woman that golfs with us every year. Her name is Barb, and Barb was a teacher here in Harrisburg at Central Dolphin and retired and moved to uh, Florida, St. Pete, and every year flies back just for that weekend to play golf with us. Do you see what Tony's sending? I love it, Tony. But I think I'll Tony's believe. on to something right here. Tony's on to something right here, right? So not only do manufacturers have the ability to send us good stuff for our auction, everybody who's a collector or is a cigar smoker probably has something cool around that they'd like to make a, a donation for or, you know, uh, help I, out in some way. My gosh, you could send a three-pack of really cool cigars. I mean, we see uh, everything. I've been I've been hatching an idea for the auction here, JJ, uh -oh, um, uh -oh. and I haven't sent out the email yet. But so Monica gave me a lot of Chad's cigars um, and his uh, um, Miami cigar Nesta Miranda black humidor. Oh my god! Uh, anniversary humidor. And so one of the things that I thought would be good would be if we began to offer people the opportunity to donate cigars to that humidor, and then we auction off that humidor. Um, oh, I so like, like so. Like, I'm gonna throw in, I still have some of those sweet uh Davidoff. I have a couple millenniums that I'm gonna throw in there. I'm gonna throw in some Opus, I'm gonna throw in some Padron. Um, and we're just gonna try and fill that box, and then we're gonna set a price at the auction. And if that price isn't met, we're just gonna put more cigars in it for next year. Just but keep it rolling, yeah. So, Pete, and then and that money is gonna go to Monica and the boys. Oh, um, that's fantastic from there. So, he's gonna get the, the cornhole stuff. But then we're also going to do that special one. So if anybody ever wants to donate, if you're like, I don't, I'm not going to donate a box, man. You can throw a five pack and just say this one's for for Chad Humidor, um, and we're just going to fill up that Humidor, and hopefully someone wants to spend a good bit to uh, to keep you know to keep uh, supporting Chad and and well, that uh, that Humidor is ridiculously gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's, beautiful. A, it's an incredible piece. I remember the year he bought that. That's that's yeah. that's amazing. That's a great idea. I'll tell you what else is a good idea is we should, if we have internet connection, we should do one of the auction items as a live auction online. Like do it like this, mm -hmm. but then put it out there for, um, you know, like pick an item or two and do just a little bit of the auction. We could do it on the show and, and get, who knows, thousands of people yeah. watching. We uh, could get, I'm down for that. That would be yeah, sweet. We can do that. that would be we can sweet. Do that. I, maybe I'll have to... Uh, Maybe Carlito, Cynthia, you know, you guys are watching right now. I mean, maybe you're going to send me some kind of unicorn we could put in there. That might be a kind of a cool, that might, that might be nice. That might be nice. That might be really well, nice. I like it, man. We've got lots and lots of, uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, dude. Woo! Dude, he's sending farms from Don Alejandro for Chad? You're the man, oh. Tony. Tony D coming through big time. Damn. That's that's big. Yeah. Wow. That's huge. That's awesome. Well, this uh this went uh this went 
really well, bro. I'm really glad you came on today. Uh, it's so awesome to be able to talk about Cigars for Good and, and all the good that all the people that we work with and, geez, all the people that support us and have supported for the last 12 years. That's pretty fantastic. Um, I think my biggest question is, is, is there going to be a shirt this year? And what's it going to look like? Well, that was always Chad's, you know, that was Chad's thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the one year I did it, um, and it, it was, it was actually, it was this one. It was quite normal here. Yes. Nice blue <laughs> with white. There was nothing neon on it. No horizontal <laughs> stripes or anything. Um, well, we, we have been kicking around some ideas, uh, of doing a sleeveless. Oh, that's totally what should be. If I'm getting um, a shirt, I'm cutting it off no matter what. I don't, yeah. I don't give a so, shit. I'm cutting it um, off. We're going to do some, um, we get t-shirts every year. Uh, that we give out to the volunteers, and then we always have extra. So I think uh, I'll probably be wearing that and uh, and cutting the sleeves off that. So we have that in the works. Um, and then I'm meeting. I'm actually meeting with uh, one of our sponsors tomorrow, Bill. To uh, he does all of our printing for all of our brochures and flyers and posters and everything. Um, and so he's also going to help us out with the t-shirts. So we're gonna I'm going to get with him about t-shirts and about golf polos tomorrow. So there will be polos. Um, for the C4G board, um, and um, and then we'll have a bunch of T-shirts there as well. Love it. And people will be invited to cut the sleeves off if they like. We'll, what we'll probably do is we'll probably sell the shirts at cost. Um, and that way people don't feel bad about uh, cutting the sleeves off. Yeah, yeah. ceremonial, ceremonial pre-tee-off cutting of the shirt. While you're in your bare feet, before, yes. you, before you tee off, yep. Last but not least, I know this is uh, this is uh, a crazy good deal, but these are like Pennsylvania prices here. Oh, they are. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, even think, I don't even think that that's Penn. I think that's below Pennsylvania pricing. It's well, believe me, we're not making we're not making much on it. But on this show, what I like to do is give people the chance to try cigars they don't normally get. You know, I always throw like a little fun one in there, like the Power Ranger this time. But that sun grown. All of the sun growns that Twenty do, I mean, they have such a great sweetness in them. I just am trying to get people to try some of the different, um, you know, wrappers that they use. And to find the sun grown, you know, in that Hemingway, I mean, they've got the the regular Cameroon, the sun grown, and then they got the Maduro. And the Maduro, we've done a bunch of times, but I've never put a bunch of sun growns together. So I was excited about this pack. It's a good pack, though. Oh, here we go. All right, let's check out what Cynthia has to say here. Um, Cynthia, listening uh, to great things to you by you two today. It's always wonderful to share our love of cigars and help others. I'll touch base with Carlito about some goodies for you guys. He has those in his toy chest. We got the toy chest. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, thank you so much. That is huge. Wow. That's awesome, Cynthia. Thank you so much. We actually, um, we auctioned wow. off. Uh, she was down at Holtz a long time ago. And we purchased one online, a box, um, and they uh, and she signed it for us uh, while she was there, and we auctioned it off. Yeah, they're they're just such great people. I mean, I know it's it's. Well, I say it all the time, like they're just the most genuine, like real. They just want to help. I honestly believe they're more in in the business now of helping people um, than they are of even keeping on creating great cigars. It's just. It's amazing to me how how their charity work has taken the forefront to even making cigars. It's kind of just kind of just amazing. They're just fantastic people. If we could have had our Fuente Fever this year, I, I you know, it's one of my biggest disappointments. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, let's see here. Tim Reardon, uh, the Power Ranger man. This is a powerful little mofo that's that's how i would describe it this thing is powerful it is sweet um it is just it's not like sit you down in the chair casa fuente you know <laughs> Taurus the bull michael style but it, it's got enough power that it's a you can still smoke it in the morning it's my first smoke of the day and wow it just blows you away so get the pack guys get the pack all right brother well um what else do you got to share anything else um, we a full hour together. This is pretty cool. I know this is the most time we've spent together since uh, probably one of the last uh, C4G auctions. Probably the, the when I was pretty housed and you were flavor flavor. You were hammered. You were 
were hammered. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember half of it, but I mean, we did pretty well, and people said they had a lot of fun. Man, that was a blast. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, there's no way that I can make it for both uh, the October auction and this and the the golf tournament, but I'm going to be there for the golf tournament. Uh, I got to figure out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like like I said, maybe we could do some kind of virtual thing for the um, for that. Oh, here we go, here we go, Senor Fuente. Hey. Happy Fuente Friday. Thank you, Carlito, for your uh, for your leading the way on helping uh, children in need, and uh, that's what we do. So it's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, you know, the first time I ever met Carlito was that day, that night at Big Smoke when he gave me that Taurus the Bull. And um, you introduced me to him, and I went to shake his hand, and he just gave me a hug. Yeah, that's you know, that's it. You know? and I was like, wow, you know. And, and he was actually the the first, uh, probably the first cigar guy I met. Um, you know, Bobby Newman. Um, he came through the lounge in Lemoyne one time, and he talked with me in the humidor a lot, and and um, and and Carlito. So having those two guys um, be the first real people that I that I met in the industry. I, I felt like after that, everything Wait. else was like down almost. Yeah. Um, so, so she's remembering, uh, uh, Cynthia is remembering Fuente mania, uh, missing all the events, just like Fuente fever. Um, yeah, look at this. We love making a difference in every way we can in making great cigars as well as helping others. Good luck, Michael. That's Thank pretty you so much, job. Cynthia. That's she's really such cool. A, such a fantastic person. Um, there you go. Hope you and Michael mm -hmm. Spencer are well and happy. Be well. Enjoy, my brothers. Thank you, Carlito. We do appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my man. Well, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, you've got lots of yard work to do and your two little ones. Uh, would you like to tell everybody uh, your boys' names? Because I think it's pretty fantastic. Uh, we have a four-year-old whose name is Brooks. And, uh, and we have a, a two-year-old whose name is Teddy. So we have, a, we have a Brooks... And, uh, and then we have Ted Williams. So, um, Woo! I, I mean, I get to say I live with Ted Williams. <laughs> uh, you, you, my nephew is Ted Williams. Yeah, exactly. That's what I tell people. I'm like, you know, you got to meet Ted Williams. That's pretty fantastic. There, there, there's Ted Williams right there. Oh, there's Ted Williams. There's Ted. And that's not Ted Williams at uh, two o'clock this morning, though. No, no, no. No. Boy. no. Hi, cousin um, Jan. Hey. Uh, all right, my man. Well, get back to your yard work. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, man. We will. Um, oh, by the way, did you hear this? This this uh, this little remix that I had going on here. Ready or not. Ooh. Yeah, you, it's copyright free so I can play it on the show. It's uh, it sounds like Fuente Friday, right? Fuente Friday. Sure, yeah, sure. I can believe that. Here we come, Fuente Friday. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Hope to see you soon. Bye. All right, bye, bye. All right, everybody. It's time. Get the packs. There it is. Go for it. Power Rangers Magnum Fifty Eight Chateau Fuente. Hemingway's oh, Fuente Friday. Right there, baby. Get it. Get it. It's only $59.99 today. Boom. You get all of it. You get all of that. All right. If you want anything special, all you got to do is let me know. And I'll add it to your invoice. Just send me a text right here at this number. Right? Send me a text if you want to add, I don't know, another Power Ranger. You want to Ask me if I've got something else. Just do that. Don't forget, go to lordpufferscigars.com. Lordpufferscigars.com. Click on Fuente Friday Deals. And there it is. Fuente Friday Deals. Get yours today. Thank you, everybody. It's a great show today. Big thanks and big shout out to my big bro, my little bro, Michael Williams. All the way from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. If you haven't had to check out, uh, haven't had a chance to check out cigars for good, check it out. If you want to help us with a donation item, please do so. Uh, call me or text me. Do whatever you want to do uh, with these cigar packs. It is a pretty fantastic pack today. 
I'm pretty impressed with what we put together uh, at a bargain basement price. So thank you guys so much. We are very, very, very uh, thank you, thank you, thank you with this. Uh, this is funny. Uh, <laughs> take care, Michael. Have a great Wednesday, Friday. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Carlito. And thank you to all of you guys. Thank you to all of you guys for putting all of your effort into watching today. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, one more time, LordPufferCigars.com. Click on Wednesday Friday deals. We'll see you next Friday. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Love you all. Get your packs. When you're in San Diego, come visit me at Lord Puffer Cigars. Escondido, California, right outside of San Diego. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye now.